So what is a leave behind? Leave behind is something that you leave behind after an interview. What does that consist of? It consists of a few things. So the first thing that you wanna do is make your leave behind. Um, what you're gonna do is take a little envelope or you're gonna take a clear folder. You're gonna take something that you can leave behind that's not super expensive. A lot of people will leave a resume, that's fine. You wanna be able to stand out in a crowd. You wanna be somebody that they remember, that when you leave the interview, you are the person that they said, I can't not hire that person. The interviewer is going to sit there and have a whole stack of people to look at. Typically when you are in that first interview, maybe second interview stage, you're gonna be at a point where you're competing against anywhere from three to five people, depending on that number you want to be able to stand out. When it comes down to it, it's gonna be very, very difficult. If there's down to three, any little thing is gonna give you an advantage or an edge when you're getting hired. One thing that you can do and something that you can have total control with is that leave behind. So what I suggest and something that I definitely tell everyone to do is do a leave behind. So what you wanna do is make a really cool leave behind. What does that consist of? As I said, you wanna get a clear folder, something super cheap. You can pick them up at the dollar store, any office supply store, anything like that. With that, then what you wanna do is put a cover letter. On that cover letter, what you wanna do is real simple. Put down, even if they don't, um, if they don't require it, you wanna put that in there. The very first page though is gonna be a title page. So what does that look like? It's gonna have your name, it's gonna have the position that you are wanting to be, not something that you are doing right now, and then a simple date of the interview. It's gonna be real simple. If you know who you're gonna interview with, you wanna put down the names of the people on that leave behind. You also wanna bring a few copies so that you can leave that leave behind with whoever it is that you're interviewing, if it is a discussion, if it is a panel interview. Um, the next page is gonna be that cover letter, just real simple cover letter, going for the job, going for what you're looking for, um, and really simple. Even if they haven't requested one, you wanna have that thrown in there. The next thing in the next section of that leave behind is going to be your resume. A lot of times you have a pretty generic basic resume to throw into the uh, system so that you can get noticed. This resume is that fancy one that uh, may not be submitted. So this is showing pretty much everything. Uh, it is the one that you want to show off and showcase where they see it and like, oh my gosh, this, this is excellent, this is phenomenal. Um, and then after that, you wanna make sure that you put in some letters of rec. Um, your recommendation letters can be anything from an employer, previous boss, supervisor. A lot of times today, people are leaving your LinkedIn recommendations. Get two or three of those, throw those in there. At the end, you wanna put down any projects, anything that you've got that you're really proud of, really, really simple things. Uh, this will help you stand out. And then it will always be something that at the very end of the day, the people that have interviewed you will take a look at. It's that one last, hey, here you go. This is really simple and I wanted you guys to have it. Um, and with that, you want to be able to take it and really kind of showcase everything that you've done. It's kind of an old way of giving your portfolio. The more you can stand out, the easier it is for you to be somebody that they want to consider. You wanna be the person the next day that they remember. They can be like, hey, that person that left that leave behind, man, that was really cool. No one else has done that. Then of course, you're gonna follow that leave up behind, leave behind with a, um, with a thank you letter. You wanna do that? Yes, you can email today's, um, you know, send that email real quick, but then you also wanna do the hand signed letter. And then that's the final leave behind within the interview addressed to everybody that you have. Uh, hopefully this tip will help you out in your next interview and good luck, thanks.